guys, this is the Great Jedi, and welcome back to the channel. Now, today we have some Star Wars video game news to go over, so let's start off with Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. It has recently been confirmed that there will be over 800 playable and non playable characters in this game, which is absolutely massive. But pay attention to what I just said playable and not playable, meaning that not all 800 characters will be playable in the roster. I just wanted to make that clear because I have seen that clickbaited a ton and I really don't want people to have their hopes up too high and then be let down when the game actually comes out expecting to be able to play as 800 different characters. Now I'm not saying that you shouldn't be hyped for this game because you definitely should because they did confirm that we are getting around 300 playable characters which is still a lot and I believe it is still more than any other LEGO game to date. Not only that, the game will have 23 planets and moons with 28 unique locations that players can visit and of course each will be full of familiar quests and collectibles that LEGO games are known for. They even go on to say that this is not like any other LEGO Star Wars game ever, like this is going to be the biggest and the best ever and this is going to be a completely unique experience which sounds awesome to me. I mean, I love the other LEGO Star Wars games but it's a different game so I'm all for them trying new things out unlike some other game franchises where they do the same thing every game. But some of you may be thinking, how exactly is this game going to be unique? Well, this is what they said. This isn't just going to be another LEGO game with new features such as aiming blaster rifles down the site, a new upgrade system, a more in-depth quest system, and the ability to do multiple quests simultaneously via a data pad. So as you guys can see, this is going to be a very unique experience and if you guys are wondering where I'm getting this information, this is from an interview with Don McDermott who is a lead hub designer at TT Games so this is all confirmed incredible. Now moving away from LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga and to Star Wars Battlefront 2, if you guys didn't know, the player base for Battlefront 2 has been absolutely huge ever since it went free on the Epic Game Store. Like it was already big because of Christmas time but it even blew up even more. Like so many people were trying to get on the game, including myself the first day it went free and the EA servers couldn't even handle it and they even had to go in and add more servers for all the new players, which is honestly great to hear because if EA hasn't seen that we would love another Battlefront, hint hint, Battlefront 3 or would love for Battlefront 2 to have support again, now they know for sure, unless they are just completely blind, which I'm sure they're not. Now, I know there has been a lot of leaks lately regarding Battlefront 3 and Battlefront 2 getting to port again, and I just wanted to remind you guys and keep all expectations in check because that is by no means happening right now and it's just all being clickbaited. Like, I have seen even channels that don't normally clickbait clickbait over this stuff. And the only reason why I'm bringing this up in my video right now is because a lot of you guys are coming to tell me about this and are being misled. Plus, I also wanted to remind you guys that I would want that so much. So I would be right on that news right away. I wouldn't wait. I'm talking right when I find out about it, I would set up a stream right on the spot and just talk to you guys about it while I'm working on that video to tell the rest of you guys that aren't in my stream. Like you guys will be the first ones to know about it if you're subbed and have that notifications bell turned on. Now, the last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was Star Wars 1313. And if you guys don't know what that game was, it was an open world Star Wars game that ended up being canceled years ago. And since there was an open world Star Wars game that was confirmed recently, some people have been speculating that, you know, that Star Wars game 1313 is going to be it. Well, Jason came out on Twitter and said, a lot of people are asking for this, but it's never going to happen. The Star Wars 1313 team is scattered and the code is eight years old. What's far more likely is that Lucasfilm kicks off a bunch of new Star Wars games, including maybe even one about a bounty hunter. Well, there you go guys. It's not 1313, but we could still possibly get a bounty hunter open world Star Wars game on top of other Star Wars games. Well, I mean, we already knew we were getting a bunch of Star Wars games, but it's always nice to hear it again since we haven't really had that many over the last 10 years. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. If you want to be caught up on everything Star Wars, be sure to subscribe if you're not already and hit that notifications bell so you never miss a video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and may the forest be with you always.